Support Wrestle Talk. Give us a subscribe. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis. There are many well-known streaks in professional wrestling. The Undertaker's 21 straight victories at WrestleMania, Raw's run of horrible episodes from mid-November to March this year, but another one has come to an end. Luke Harper's You Know What That Means on Twitter run. Harper hasn't used his Twitter account for anything else since Halloween last year, tweeting the day of the week and, you know what that means, every day for the last 226 days. Until yesterday, where the Smackdown wrestler and sometimes actor promoted his new horror film Mohawk screening at the Fantasia Film Festival in Montreal. Thank you, Harper. The streak is over. Devastating. But congratulations to WWE for keeping their run of lowest Raw ratings ever alive in 20 Oh no, wait, that's a bad thing. Thing. I'm revoking that congratulations. This week's Raw averaged just 2.53 million viewers, the second lowest in modern history according to F4W Online. The episode had strong competition against the NBA playoffs which did a staggering 24.47 million. In your ratings, 44% thought the show was average, while 36% agreed with me at Poor. You can watch my review of that lame duck show right here on Wrestle Talk's YouTube channel. Cheap bop. One positive coming out of Monday's episode, though, was the terrific opening segment. A pull-apart brawl between Brock Lesnar and Samoa Joe. While Raw's first hour only drew 2.77 million viewers, the Brock vs. Joe video clip uploaded to WWE's YouTube channel currently has a massive 4.5 million views. Over 3 million of those coming in just the first 24 hours. This is considerably more than WWE's Raw clips usually get and could mean good things for Samoa Joe's backstage plans. Joe was never meant to face Brock Lesnar at Great Balls of Fire. Yep, they're still going with that name. It was Braun Strowman who was being built up, but Strowman got hurt, so his match was moved to SummerSlam. Joe would then get a one-and-done feud with Lesnar in the meantime. But then Joe had one of the best Raw segments of the year on last week's episode, menacingly choking Paul Heyman out in the middle of the ring. Cage-side seats started reporting a rumour that if fans got invested in the storyline, WWE officials are open to extending the feud past Great Balls of Fire. Cage Side Seats now claim the success of Joe and Brock's brawl clip on YouTube has become a topic of discussion backstage in WWE, and there could be an even bigger angle set to follow it. Speaking of the monster among men, PW Insider is reporting that Braun Strowman has been medically cleared to return to the ring. Unless he, he isn't. Strowman has had to undergo elbow surgery last month, which WWE claimed would put him out of action for six months. In reality, the procedure was much less severe, with the actual recovery time being four to eight weeks. WWE said it was longer, so when Braun made his shock return, it would make him appear even more superhuman. See Cena John. Or rather, you, you can't see Cena John. But although PW Insider say they've heard from multiple sources he's been medically clear, Ryan Satin over at Pro Wrestling Sheet tweeted, Just read an incorrect report on Braun. While he is close to coming back, my sources say Strowman has not been cleared for return yet. Wrestling News World claim the answer is somewhere in between. Braun is cleared to return to the ring for training, but he hasn't been medically cleared to wrestle, as they're still working out how to reinsert him into Raw's main event picture. A main event picture which free agent John Cena might soon be joining and find out how Brock Lesnar vs Samoa Joe should have been booked on this week's Raw. Click the videos to the left to watch those, press subscribe and support WrestleTalk on Patreon. I've been Ollie Davis and that was wrestling.